Well, hello. My name's Ian, and we are here to talk about a poem by Robert Burns. Uh, personally, my Twitter ha handle is Rabbi Burns, so I love the guy. Most Scotsmen love Robert Burns. He was a dude that lived in the late 18th century in Scotland. Uh, he wrote poetry, he loved his friends, he loved drinking, he loved women. He was kind of the ultimate Scotsman. Uh, and he wrote some brilliant poems, and this is one of them. It's called Tam O'Shanter. Uh, it's a story about a dude who's been he's in the pub. He's getting drunk with his mates. Uh, he heads home. It's a horrible Scottish night. The weather's shocking. Uh, there's a haunted church halfway home, and in it there's a big dance of uh, party of witches going on. And within the, the party there's a cute one uh, that Tam takes a fancy to. Uh, so he goes up to the window and he shouts out, oh, um, you know, well done, Curry Sark, uh, which the witches don't like. So they chase him. Uh, he manages to get away, but one of the witches catches uh, his... Uh, horse's tail and plucks it off but he manages to get home but it's a salutary lesson uh, about the dangers of drinking and womanizing so something we should all keep in mind all right this is it uh, it's called Tam O'Shanter and it's by Robert Burns when Chapman Billies leave the street and Druthy neighbors neighbors meet as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate as we sit boozing at the nappy and getting foo and uncle happy we think na the lang scat smiles, the mosses water slaps and styles that lie between us and our hame, where sits our sulky, sullen dame, gathering her brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth Fandanis Tam O'Shanter, as he fair that night did canter, old air when near a town surpasses for honest men and bonny lassies. O Tam, a thou but been so wise as tain thy in wife's Kate's advice, she told thee well I was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that fair November, to October, a market day, thou wast na sober. That ilka melder with a miller, thou sat as lang as thou had siller, that every nag was cad a shoe on, the smith and thee gat roaring foo on, that at the laird's house, e'en on Sunday, thou drank with Kirk and Jean till Monday, she prophesied that late or soon, thou would be found deep drowned in dune, or catch with warlocks in the murk, by Alloway's old haunted Kirk. Ah, gentle dams, it guards me greet to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband fear the wife despises. But to her tale, a market night, Tam had got planted, uncle right, fast by an ingle, blazing finely, with reaming swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow, suitor Johnny, his ancient, trusty, truthy crony, Tam loved him like a very brother, they had been foo for weeks together. The night drave on with sangs and clatter, and I, the ale, was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with favour secret, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without right might rear and rustle. Tam didst not mind the storm a whistle. Care mad to see a man say happy, he and drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee hame with lades of pleasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious. O'er all the ill of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread, you seize the flower, its bloom is shed, or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white, then melts forever. Or like the borealis race that flits ere ye can point their place, or like the rainbow's lovely form, ye vanishing amid the storm. Nay man can tether time nor tide, the hour approaches Tam Mon ride. That hour on night's black arch the key stain, that dreary hour he mounts his beast in. And sick a night he tacks the road in, as ne'er poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as t'wad blown its last, the rattling showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed loud, deep, and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand, the devil had business on his hand. Will mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tam scale put on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst holding fast his good blue bonnet, was crooning o'er some old Scots sonnet, was glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed the ford, wherein the snaw that Chapman smurred, and past the burks and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie bracks neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters fanned the murdered bairn, and near the thorn aboon the well, where Mungo's mither hanged her cell. Before him, Dune pours all his floods. The Dublin storms roar through the woods. The lightnings flash, free pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll. When glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a blaze. 
Through Ilka Boar the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make us scorn. With Tippany will fear no evil, with Uska Bay will face the devil. The swat sea reamed in Tammy's noddle, fair play he cardna deals a bottle. As Nagy stood, right Sarah astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on the light, and wow, Tam saw an unco sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance, nay cotillion brent new fay France, but horns pipes, jigs, straspays and rails put life and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, their saddled neck in shape of beast. A towsy tyke, black gloom and large, to give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and got them skirled till roof and rafters had to dull. Coffins stood round like open presses that shod the dead in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able to nate upon the haley table, a murderous banes and gibbeterns, twa spain lang wee and christened bairns, a thief, new cutted fair rape, where his last gasp, his gab did gape. Five tomahawks, hawks with blood red rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, by his own son a life bereft, the grey hairs yet stacked to the heft. With mare of Horabo and Offa, which even to name would be unlawful. An As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew, they reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, till Ilka Carl and swat and reek it, and coost her duddies to the wark, and link it at it in her sark. Now Tam, oh Tam, had they been queens, all plump and strapping in their teens, their sarks instead of creasy flannin been snow white seventeen hundred linen. Their breeks of mine, my ainly pair, which once were plush with good blue hair, I would have gained them off my herdies for a blink of the bonny birdies. But withered beldams, old and droll, rig woody hags wad spain a foal, lopin' and flingin' on a crummock. I wonder didst not turn the stomach. But Tam kenned what was what through brawly. There was a winsome wench and wally that night enlisted on the core, lang after kenned on Carrick shore. For many a beast to dead she shot, had perished many a bonny boat, and shook baith meekle corn and bear, and held the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark of paisley harn, that as a lassie she had worn, in longitude though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vaunty. Ah, little ken thy reverent granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny, with twa pun Scots was all her riches, whatever graced a dance of witches. But here, my muse, her wing mon cure, Sick flights are far beyond her power. To, na to sing how Nanny lap and flang, a soupy jade she was and strang. And how Tam stood like ain bewitched and thought his very ain enriched. Even Satan glowered and fidged through fain and hotched and blew with might and main. Till first he caper, sin another. Tam tint his reason all together. And roars out, well done, cutty sark. And in an instant, all was dark. And scarcely had he Maggie rallied, when out the hellish legion sallied. As bees buzz out with angry fike, when plundering herds assail their bike, as open pussy's morsel pose, when pop she starts before her nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch a thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs, the witches follow with many an eldritch screech and hollow. Ah, Tam, ah, Tam, they'll get thy fairin, in hell they'll lose thee like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming. Kate soon will be a woeful woman. Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystone or the brig. They're at them now, thy tail may toss, a running stream thy dare not cross. But ere the keystone she could make, the fainter tail she had to shake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little wist she Maggie's mettle. A spring brought off her master hail, but left behind her ain grey tail. The carlin caught her by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now what this tale of truth shall read, ilk man and mother's son take heed, when ere to drink ye are inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind. Think ye may buy the joys o'er dear. Remember Tam O'Shanter's mare. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, right.